Now, there are some characters on Fox News, as we all know. One of them, I think there's a good case to be made, is significantly worse than the rest. There's a guy by the name of Ralph Peters. He was talking about the NSA and Verizon scandal and the PRISM scandals, and he ended up saying the most deplorable thing I've heard in a while. Let's listen. Now, now you've got this 29-year-old high school dropout whistleblower making foreign policy for our country, our security policy. And the guy, look, I think it's sad, Brian, we've made treason cool. Betraying your country is kind of a fashion statement. He wants to be the national security Kim Kardashian. He cites Bradley Manning as a hero. I mean, we need to get very, very serious about treason. And oh, by the way, for right. treason, as in the case of Bradley Manning or Edward Snowden, you bring back the death penalty. I've never heard anybody more anti-American than Ralph Peters. No, 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 no debating it. Uh, there, it's not open to interpretation. It's obvious. He's laying it out right in front of you. I am anti-American. I am unpatriotic. The massive irony here is that government workers oftentimes swear an oath to the Constitution of the United States, and they say, I'll protect it against enemies foreign and domestic. So you know who's really committing treason? Ralph Peters and the executive branch. Because all Snowden was doing, the person who leaked the information, was protecting the Constitution of the United States. I got bad news for you. The domestic enemy was President Obama and his administration. Keeping that information away from people when it is uh, the very definition of an unreasonable search and seizure, it is the very definition of a violation of the right to privacy. So look, and he talked about it too. He said, the only reason I'm doing this is because it's what's constitutional. It would be unconstitutional to keep it from the American people. So the only people who are being treasonous are people like Ralph Peters, who say, how dare you uh, disregard the administration? How dare you not listen to your leaders? I got news for you, Ralph Peters. This isn't North Car uh, this isn't, uh, I almost said North Carolina. This isn't North Korea. You're not supposed to just listen to your leader and that's the end of the conversation, that's the end of the debate. Like Russ Feingold said, we don't have a king, we have a president. So Ralph Peters is the anti-American one. The Obama administration, they're the ones who are acting unpatriotic in this instance. They blatantly violate the First Amendment and the Fourth Amendment, and then when somebody ex exposes that, they go, kill that guy. Really, you want the death penalty for somebody doing their job? Look, uh, I know that Ralph Peters is not a journalism major, and I know he knows nothing about the press. But the whole idea of having a free press in a democratic society is to give the American people the facts as to what their government is doing. But he's so uh, been so busy his entire life with his head up Washington's ass that he thinks anybody who contradicts uh, the official line about national security, well, obviously, uh, they need to be put to death. Look, if he, if he released the nuclear launch codes, then I'd say you have a case. <laughs> there are certain things that are a matter of national security, but those things are obvious to everybody, right? Like for example, releasing the uh, nuclear launch codes. Can't do it. Can't do it, not allowed to do it. There actually is a legitimate national security threat there. Doing what Geraldo Rivera did, where he traced in the sand the position of troops, well, I don't know whether it was Iraq or Afghanistan, where the enemy could have seen it fairly easily, right? That I understand, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Telling millions of innocent people that they're being spied on? Yeah, that's the job of the press.